This video is going to show you how the True Position Drill Guide allows you to quickly and accurately drill holes for a wide variety of cabinet hardware. Holes for handles and knobs, hinges and drawer traps, pull-out drawers, adjustable shelving, and vertical partitions. You can even drill holes into your drawer boxes to mount drawer fronts. The True Position Drill Guide is basically a T-square with a fixed drill bushing in the center or zero point of the scales. The drill bushings on these sliding guides are in line with the central fixed bushing. Using one of the indexes, you can position these guides from your choice of either English or metric scales. This top stop allows you to set the distance between the edge of your work to the center of the holes to be drilled. Position the stop along the scales, referencing from the edge closest to the drill bushing. A second stop can be attached to the sliding guide to position holes from the corner of a workpiece. An example, a door for handles or knobs. This one tool eliminates the need for countless shop-made jigs which are time-consuming to make, more limited in use, and less accurate. The sliding drill guides are an inch and a quarter wide, or 32 millimeters, so that when you stack the two sliders together, your holes are 32 millimeters on center for concealed hinges. Next, adjust sliding drill guides to your favorite shelf spacing, and with the use of a spacer block, drill three holes for shelf clips. Remove the top stop and place the thumb screws up against the back. Use the spacer block again for accuracy and drill the rear three shelf clip holes. Do the same thing to the other side of the cabinet. Install your adjustable shelf and doors and you're done. This time, I'll use three additional sliding guides. Two of the sliders are set for hinge concealed plates. The other three are for adjustable shelving. Another way to mount doors is to simply draw a line where the hinge goes, then center the guides on the line. I've notched the end of this panel with my table saw to fit this metal pin. I'm going to drill holes in the top and bottom of this cabinet so that I can insert this panel for vertical dividers. I've installed cam adjusters into my drawer front, which make installation easier. This drawer front is six and a half inches tall, so I've set the top stop at half of that, three and a quarter inches. 
The cam adjuster is four inches in from the edge, so I'll set the sliding guide at four inches, referencing from the edge where the stop is. Center the guide on the drawer front and drill your holes. The drawer front is six and a half inches tall, so I've set the top stop at three and a quarter. This handle is three inches wide, so I've set each of the sliding guides at one and a half inches from the center, or zero point, to get a three inch hole pattern. A knob would be drilled in the center hole. To drill for a handle or a knob on a door, set the sliding guides and stops, clamp in position, or hold by hand and drill. With the long bars, you can lay out an entire system of holes in a single setup. When the top stop touches the crossbar, the standard 37 millimeter setback for cabinet hardware is achieved. You can drill all the holes, or you can drill selectively for your specific needs. Hinges, drawer tracks, adjustable shelving, etc. This is a typical base cabinet. I've used my layout stick to locate which holes to drill for hinges, adjustable shelving, and drawer tracks on the front of the cabinet. I've reset the distance on the back set of holes to catch the back hole of the drawer track. 